आथा योगा अनुशासनम नमस्ते वेलकम टू अनुरावल द थ्रेड a podcast for people who want to apply the yoga sutras to yoga practice and to life today available online at www.unravelthethread.com i am ruben vasquez your companion on this journey of exploration on today's episode yoga sutra 132 sutra 32 in chapter 1 says Practicing single-pointed focus eliminates the distractions and disturbances. The sutra offers a simple yet powerful idea for counteracting the distractions and disturbances listed in Sutra 130, as well as their symptoms 131. One-pointedness. What is one-pointedness? Has it ever happened that you have gotten so completely engrossed in a book or a movie that you completely forgot about the world outside when you didn't even notice outside noises or the passing of time? One pointedness is the ability to focus our attention. When you find something you are truly curious about, Your attention can focus with great precision and unwavering energy. Some teachers say that one of these focal points in our present day is money, and that many people around the world invest most of their attentional and material resources trying to make money. This can be a good point for inquiry. What do you invest your energy time and resources in what in your life invites a deep level of dedication another way of thinking about the meaning of this verse is that distractions result from the suspicion that other times and places are more important than the place you are in right now the notion that other times and places are more important is first of all completely unrealistic because you can participate fully only in the moment that you are in second the other times and places you think you could be in are the product of your imagination speculations based on your memories from the past third when you dismiss this moment you discount the elegant synchronicity of thousands of events orchestrating this moment to be exactly as it is indeed you may be ignoring that whatever it is that you notice may be something that is tailored to, to you and your situation if you find yourself constantly distracted you can direct your single pointed focus to examine your inability or unwillingness to accept this moment as it is in order to reveal the distraction that keeps pulling you away knowing the distraction you can allow it to keep disrupting your commitment or you can inquire into it using the simple questions is there anything wrong right here and now is it within my power to change what is wrong if you can change it just do it right there and then If something is beyond your immediate control, then it is wise to surrender your illusion of control. As it was mentioned in Sutra 112, the journey towards dynamic balance requires the complementary approach of doing and being. At this point in the chapter, after listing obstacles, distractions and their symptoms, Patanjali echoes this two-pronged strategy in this sutra and the next. This verse focuses on practice or doing and the next one can be seen as an interpretation of freedom from attachment. Notice that the characteristics of single-pointed focus include a continuous, sincere and firmly rooted intention. 
which is the definition of practice, abhyasa. Single-pointed focus can also be interpreted as one way of engaging your mind. It is an invitation to commit with deliberate and unwavering intention. To engage consciously and deliberately, you can ask yourself, what is important enough to deserve my attention, time and energy? To keep a single-pointed focus, it helps to concentrate on something that does not fade. So, a relevant question is, what is permanent enough not to fade under sustained attention? Or, what is really lasting? As usual, one more way of exploring the meaning of this sutra is by chanting it. You can choose to chant in its traditional form, with all the words in the sutra coming together. Another option is to chant each word in the sutra individually. Tat. Pratishedha Aratham Eka Tatwa Abhyasaha Tat 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 Pratishedha Aratham Eka Tatwa Abhyasaha Thank you very much for listening. I hope you can join me for the next episode when we will explore Sutra 33 in Chapter 1. Please remember that you can find more information at unravelthethread.com I would appreciate it if you could share this podcast with other like-minded people. Thank you very much. Until next time, Namaste. Namaste.